Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to a fun series for the month of January called Get in Shape. I think that's just so much fun for the month of January when we're all doing, you know, resolutions and goals and, and things to get in shape. But Shannon, this is the brainchild of Shannon, Shannon Blinn who is scrapping with Shannon here on YouTube. And her idea, using this play on words as a title, is to use shapes. So we're going to do this every Saturday in January. And this first installment was to use circles. So as you know, I, I'm having a little bit of a slow start back into January, but I'm getting back into it after a crazy December. So my first couple of layouts are shares, as is today's. But what I used here, here is my layout and I had fun with this. So I'm using my collection Obsession, which is um, Where To Next from Vicki Wooten. And this lovely paper, and I wanted to use, thankfully I have two sheets because I wanted to use the one in the paper pad and then I suddenly realized the paper pad, actually the 12 by 12 paper pad does not have this paper in it. The 6 by 8 does, but the 12 by 12 doesn't. So I, I sort of took the easy way and I used my punches to punch out the circles. So I, I may not have quite all of these little bits of added interest, but I used my punches to get these circles out. And this is the page. And I really just had fun with this, like a deconstructed, uh, just a fun, fun, fun page for, of course, the Labor, Labor Cup results from last year. I think I've done one layout this is the second, and I have one more layout to do. This will be a little bit of a mini-series. Uh, I have a layout with two three-by-four photos, which I showed you the other day. So, I used, of course, my Bella Boulevard Besties, um, and I have this lovely big chunk uh, that I can use. Well, actually, I did use part of it here to mat my photo. My uh, whipped cream cardstock here from the warehouse cardstock that I love. This is my absolutely favorite uh, sort of off-white vanilla type cardstock. It's not too yellow. It's not too brown. It's not too bright. It's the perfect sort of off-white. And then I use two inch punch, uh, one and a half inch, one inch, and the larger ones, were they three inch maybe or two and a half? I, I can't quite remember. But so I got all of these fun circles punched out, matted my photo in just black cardstock here. And the B side of this Bella Boulevard Besties paper so that I would have a little bit of different interest. Uh, tone on tone here and then I really just randomly with no pre no planning put my circles and half circles down when I got I guess maybe three quarters of them down I sort of put the photo and then went around and completed and I love having some that overlap um a couple that are just here on their own and then a few areas where I added some dimensional element to the little cluster some wood buttons I have here some lovely wood buttons from Shadney uh, some stars from Bramble Fox that I dotted around some of the chipboard from the where to next collection and I use the chipboard here for my title, which is Wow Moments, because I think the first page that I did, I put the word champions. Um, so just wow moments. And, you know, sometimes you can just adapt things a little bit. This was a, this was a word, wow with an exclamation point. I didn't want that here. I could have probably put the exclamation point here after moments, but I sort of like the way it nestled in here. So I just cut off 
the exclamation point wow moment. My photo. And there you go. A couple of chipboard pieces, other chipboard pieces from that same collection. And that made for quite an easy and fun layout to put together. Best experience, just added a little bit there. And I guess the only thing I really need to add somewhere in here is uh, the date. I'll go back and see exactly what date that was. Was it November? No, November was the Davis Cup. I think maybe was it September? But it was actually here in Canada. It was uh, in Vancouver. So there you go. And I think that was the first time the Labour Cup was held here in Canada. It's held in Europe one year and then in North America um, the other year. So it goes back and forth. I think last time it was in North America was in Chicago, I believe. So I'm not sure that it has ever been held in Canada. So that it was held here in Canada and that Team World one was just amazing and I wanted to get that into my main album so as you know this year I think I'm going to be looking at and I'll have a video up with that soon because I'm still just thinking in my head how I'm going to do this but I think I'm going to do six by eight format for my reading watching and regular tennis um tournaments that don't necessarily now require 12 by 12 but this kind of thing which was a first uh i'll also have of course um the women we won the um oh my goodness me that cup there the billy jean king cup so that those kinds of things i think merit 12 by 12 layouts so there you go my friends this week get in shape with circles make sure you pop on down below. I'm not sure at the time of recording this, I'm not sure if it's going to be a playlist down below, uh, whether we're all adding to a playlist or whether it's a list of channel links or video links, but whatever it is will be linked down below. Thank you so much for being here, my friends, and I will see you back here very, very soon. Bye for now.